I just sent you a request, brother. Growing up, but I was having shit three days time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My God. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? I ain't seen my What's up, brother? Man. How you been, loved one? How you been, man? Great, man, great. Staying busy. Uh, my son got actually got football practice in like an hour, you feel me? So I'm going to be out here a little bit short. But um, oh, you're good. Yeah. Look, man, I just want to tell people, you know what I'm saying? I want to give people a quick little background about us, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, sir. This 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 bro right here, and I, I say that I've been knowing Stess for over a decade, you hear me? Um, me and Stess met in a whole different state, my nigga. We was in this bitch. Nigga actually beat me in the battle, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We, we, we battled. We, we that shit was not easy, nigga. That um, shit wasn't easy, nigga. <laughs> we was going at it, nigga. Facts. When I came to Jersey, y'all all show love, man. Y'all y'all helped me down in Jersey. Y'all showed me love in Jersey. The food was good in Jersey, nigga. <laughs> so in the hood, nigga. I don't know where we was at, nigga, but y'all had me in the trenches for sure. <laughs> nigga, like if you Jersey like, different, you Jersey, nigga. like North Patterson, Jersey City, certain places, you just you gonna be in the slums regardless. You're gonna know you in the hood. I think we was. I think it was Pat. Was it? I think it was Patterson. Patterson, Patterson, most likely. Yeah, that's my Patterson. hometown. Gar yeah. Garbage all on the fucking flows and shit, nigga. Niggas running around. Jesus Christ. I was like, hey, hey, I'm from the Bay, nigga. We, we niggas be wop, but nigga, that shit different. <laughs> <out> there, <nigga. laughs> But shout out to you, Scorp, man. I see you doing your thing, man. You're an artist now, too, as well, man. You know, I was an artist as well. I was doing my music thing. I calmed down, you feel me? But I, I just appreciate seeing y'all still doing it, man. This shit is lit, bro. This shit is lit. We need it, man. No cap. You know, I had to have a legend come up on here, man. You know what I'm saying? A great motherfucker. I just want to pick your brain a little bit and um get some wisdom. Get some wisdom from you in your culture. I'm here. I'm here all day. Um, let me um, plug this in real quick. Caffeine TV from literally 10 a.m. until like 12 p.m. Eastern time every day on my Caffeine TV. Steps the vibe. S T E P Z the vibe. Y'all come follow me. You feel me? But yeah, let's get into it. You know I mean, oh yeah, make sure y'all follow my brother and his show on Caffeine, man. You know what I'm saying he's going up. His show very entertaining. I'm saying, but lock in with me. Um, I want to talk to you about a little bit about like, give me, give me some information on New Jersey culture and, and, and history. And All right, so I could definitely say this, like in the beginning, like <laughs> we have like literally dances from back in the seventies, like you know Jersey Club. Our culture come from back then because it's actually house house dance and pop. Okay, match together in a way, like you feel me. Now, house was something that's really, like, big over in Jersey, period. Like, you're going to always hear that a lot. Co like, cookouts, family get-togethers, all that. It's, like, natural. Like, you're going to hear house music. So, um, Baltimore Club, made, made ba they made Baltimore Club, whatever, which is a fast-paced type style of um, beat. And Jersey, we heard it. We took it and started evolving with it. You feel me? We made some dances to it and started naming the dances, et cetera. We, we, we made it marketable, pretty much. That's the best way I could put it because Baltimore Club already had the pace. We just started adding our own creativity to it. So that's pretty much how Jersey Club came about. But this has been going on for, for many years. Like people was doing stuff in the 80s with, with, with like regular house music. Like so it goes that that, that far pretty much. That's crazy. That's the, that's yeah. the, I've been at the 70s. Facts. We got OG OGs. <laughs> so what got you into dancing? Like what? What made you be like, yo, I want to do this shit. I want to be a dancer, man. Like, all right, so boom. I pretty much came up um, under my older brother. He's two years older than me. And then my cousin, which is two years older than him. And they friends. So at that time, we was just playing sports. It wasn't no, it wasn't no dancing, nothing. Um, my grandmother kind of forced it. Like, we'd be out in the street, but we was forced to go to the church. It wasn't no discussion. You feel me? Like, my grandmother ain't give a fuck. What you bang, whatever. She don't give a fuck. She's smacking fire out you. You ain't going to church. You feel me? Like <laughs> I know, I know what that's like to do you. <laughs> you feel me? So that's pretty much what it was. Whatever. I learned how to sing in the choir in church, but at the same time, I was trying to be tough with my brothers and all them. I'm playing basketball. We used to box out in the street. We used to play street football. Like you feel me? Baseball. We played manhunt. We used to hop garage roofs. Like you feel me? It was, it was just different. Like you feel me? Um. So. 
dancing was like something I always like was intrigued with. I seen Michael Jackson when he did the dancing machine when he was like 17. They showed him like riding across the stage. When I seen that motherfucker, I was like, nah, I gotta do that. I ain't tell my homies for like a good five years that I could dance. They start hearing it from other people. And like my homies would come over to me like, yo, like, like I'm hearing you be wild. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, nah, nigga, keep doing that shit, bro. So that's how that shit became a snowball effect. And it's like, you know what? This is something that, that I'm supposed to be doing. You feel me? And I started influencing them as many people as possible, pretty much. Which you most definitely did, bro. Like, that's crazy. Like, seeing, seeing where, like, where you at now, seeing the shit you're doing, bro, it's phenomenal, bro. I appreciate it, man. Bro. I just seen you got comic books. Indeed, indeed. Talk about, come on, man. You want to get into it? It's all right. We got a, you got cop, bro. That's you got your own comic books, nigga. Facts. Big facts. Elaborate. How did you get into that business, and how, how did that shit come about? Man? So, boom. The comic book is pretty much called "Welcome to Brick Falls." It's a merge of Brick City, which is North New Jersey, and the Great Falls, which is Patterson. Like, I smashed them together because in my dance world, that's where my name first got up at. Like, you feel me? So I made it. His name is Bryce Green, which is my son's name. You feel me? Um, he's 14, and his parents get kidnapped. His, his, it leads him up to his older, sister, his older sister to take care of him, take, have custody over him and everything like that. So not only is he a teenager, and he's just getting in high school, but he got to deal with his sister being his mother now. Not knowing what's going on with his parents. You feel me? So I right, Boom. He gained a little self-esteem or whatever to go to this big, like, this big event called the Brick Falls Face-Off. It's where the dance groups go there, and they show their talent. Everybody knew he could play basketball from his father, like, you feel me? And they just know he disappeared because a lot of tragedies happened, no trauma. So he finally gets to this big event, crowd going crazy. It's like a Battle Fest type feel, you feel me? Crowd going crazy like a big-ass Coliseum Arena, you feel me? Crowd going crazy. Now... Group one dance, boom, crowd go crazy. Group two, boom. Now his best friend JJ, she's an Afro Latina. You feel me? She a tomboy though, like you feel me? She say what she want, what she want type shit. Like you feel me? You know how these girls are. So she, right. she she don't give a damn. Like you feel me? I I built her off of my youngest daughter and my friend Aura. You know the dancer Aura? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I built I built JJ off of off of that of them two people, like, you feel me? So he, he looks at her and she give him a nod, like, yo, kill this shit. So he hit a front flip, boom, bone break, bomb. Crowd going crazy, you feel me? Explosion happens at the same exact time and it's a it's a helicopter that has a metabiotic chemical in it. You feel me? It merges with the water tower that it crashes into and it tips over into the arena. Whoever touches the, the chemical gains powers at the moment, later on, or even if they breathe in the fumes. So you don't know how many people got powers now, you feel me? And that's pretty much what it builds up from that. You know what I mean, Welcome to Brick Falls by OEO Comics. I got merch out. I got sweatsuits, different colors that you can ask for. Like, you feel me? Don't get me wrong. Keep me trying, trying, trying to get some Diddy sweatsuits, though. Some all-white sweatsuits. It's like, yo, bro. Like, bro. Like, <laughs> that's hard. It's hard to get, my nigga. Like, like, yo, yeah, give me, like, a cotton candy sweatsuit, nigga. I'm like, damn, yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> how do you find that, nigga? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so you know you somebody who been on TV, made history, traveled around the world. You know, I ask this question on the show every dancer that comes up here. I want to know your thoughts on do you do you feel like dancers get paid what they deserve? Hell no. All right, elaborate on that a little bit on why you feel like that. All right, so I'm down to the nit the grip when it comes to hip hop. You feel me? Like I always watched hip hop since I was a kid. I was influenced from Rock the Bells, nigga. Like, you feel me? That's how much into hip hop I am. You feel Rock me? the Bells. So, the elements of hip hop is what? Graffiti, the MC, the DJ, and the dancer, right? Some strange reason, it went to the rapper, the DJ, the graffiti artist, and then the dancer at the fucking bottom. You feel me? So. I always felt like it wasn't right because we are we are definitely accessory to your video. We will make people want to buy whatever your your music is, or we'll get people to train with a dance that everybody wanna do, just play your music just to do that dance too. Like you feel me? So no, we don't we don't get the credit we deserve. It should be collaboration more than anything. We should start really like having real teams that incorporate 
dancers in it. That's not no, oh, and one and two is like, no, this is my nigga right here I grew up with. He be killing that shit, you feel me? I'm the rapper, this the dance, and my boy DJing, you feel me? You already know we got the graffiti all over, like, you feel me? Like, I'm looking for real shit like that, like, you feel me? That's the new version of where we came from. But we don't see that nowadays, like, you feel me? They either, oh, I'm not a dancer no more, I'm a rapper, or like, you feel me? <laughs> Right. Yeah, I, I, tell people, I, I say I tell people, you know, I feel like dancers is the new DJs. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like we, the, uh, the dancers is the, the is the people who's breaking the records now. So it's like um, That's right. I feel like personally the way it is with music, how they got ASCAP, BMI, Sound Exchange, Song Trust, it got to be some set up for dancers with dance some royalties or get some type of dance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> To where niggas can have, you know, have or niggas gotta start up in that price. You know what I mean? That's right, and that's the only thing is um, for people to take us serious when we up that price. Mm, talk about it, cause that's the main thing. You will tell a person like, look, I can go down my resume. America's Got Talent, eight-time first place winner at the Apollo front cover, Dance Mogul magazine. I could, I could, I could, I could, I could nail all them charts. You feel me? But that shit don't mean nothing when a person trying to swindle you. You feel know I me? Mean? He's like, oh, yeah, you did all that? Yeah, that's going to be great for my views, but let me see if I can get him with the lowest price. And they'll even hit you with the, oh, well, I did speak to my mans, and he said he'll do it for this. Like, and it ain't me, nigga. Like, you feel know I me? Mean? Like, what that got to do with us? That don't got to do That's that nigga price. That's not my price, nigga. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Niggas be crazy. <laughs> Try to play modern games. But when you're younger, you hear money. And you just dance for fun, you feel me? That shit is intriguing. It's like, oh, I, nigga, what? I'm about to give you a couple of thoughts or something with this shit. Hell yeah, nigga, fuck me. But you don't realize you're being used. You're being used, like, you feel me? You're not, you're not gonna realize, like, when I get home, like, damn, my legs feel like fucking news now. I'm tired as a motherfucker. Now you gotta recover from whatever scrapes and bruises that you, you feel me? Facts. You gotta pay for that shit. <laughs> Facts. Facts. That's, That's real. That's shit go. That's real. What you what you think could be some solutions you think or some ideas you think we can incorporate into maybe, you know, finding some ways to help in our culture, you know, move towards that direction of like, hey, let's get our business. I honestly feel like it's really a unity thing. Unity. It's a unity thing. Like if we all like honestly, like we got dancers from all over each coast, you feel me? Representing different backgrounds. If we honestly support each other like that, I said this. Like, you feel me? Because Patterson or whatever, um, Fetty Watt was from Patterson, you feel me? So when I started rapping, everybody kept trying to push me into the melodic field, the melodic, melodic field. And it's like, no, it's not me. Like, you feel me? That's not me. I like to, I like for you to hear exactly what I'm saying, what I'm saying, and how I'm saying it. You feel me? That's just how I rap. Like, you feel me? But everybody was with that freaking wave. Like, you get me? So they did disperse. But I said this. I said, look, imagine if we had focus on one freaking artist once a month type shit. Or space it out every three months. Are right, you feel me? This person got a song out, let's all push this shit. That nigga made a million. Next person, all push this shit. That nigga made a million. That's how it works. That's how it works. It's a team thing. It's not no, oh, I'm just popping this don't work. No, it's always a team behind. It's, ain't talk, <laughs> talk about it, us. talk about it. It's a team effort, bro. I don't know what people be thinking like, oh, yeah, I'm self-made. I just did. Uh, bro, you think these artists that you see that's top tier, they all that shit by themselves? They no. just the face of it. They, they just the logo, nigga. They put that's them the on Ellen show. They put them there. Like, what are you talking about? It's a team effort. Word, that nigga's just the logo, nigga. It's a whole organization behind it. It's a whole league behind it. That nigga just the logo. It's just that's a fact. Facts, bro. Big facts. Wait, what time is it? I'm good, I'm good. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm trying to see what's up. Oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I'm out of here at 5.30 and shit. So pretty much let's fast forward, you know what I mean? I'm doing my comic books, you know what I mean? I've done music before. Like, I have plenty of music out y'all want to hear it, you feel me? Official steps on SoundCloud, you feel me? You can find all the music that I've recorded so far. And also I got like a little song that I ain't never dropped because my uncle's on it and I was waiting for his call to drop it and shit because they dragged me out the fucking house. I was on some, I ain't never singing nothing or rapping nothing no more. They like, nigga, you don't get your dumb ass now. Like, like, you feel me? Like, I got this hook for you right now, bro. You fucking like, 
So that, I'm waiting for that to drop, but that's the most I've been doing, like, you feel me, and taking care of the kids, man. My son is playing football now, you know what I mean? Contact, you know what I mean? None of, none of that flag bullshit. You just turned seven, you feel me? Yeah. You, know what I mean? yeah. you feel me? You feel me? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to raise a young man, young grown man. You feel me? I mean, that's, I told you how I came, but we played street football on the street. Nigga had to separate when the car go by. You know how that shit go. Real shit. You feel me? Nah, real shit. How is it like, um, what's it like trying to balance everything? You know, being a father, being an artist, a businessman. Uh, uh, how, do you, how do you balance, you know, and juggle all those different types of it's things? It's all about knowing, like, your priorities. Like, you feel me? Your priority is, like, taking care of your kids is first. So what's going to help you line up with that? All right, my entertainment catches money quickly. So I got to be on top of the entertainment, you feel me, for them to benefit from it. Hence why I stream every day faithfully, even if it's five motherfuckers in here or, or two. You feel me? I'm still on there faithfully, still grinding because I'm not doing it for me. Like, you feel me? So, yeah, it's all about what your priorities are. Like, make sure you line them up correctly. Like, you feel me? Because once you, you do one wrong move, it could fuck up the whole bridge. Like, no cap. I've done that before where I've been, I've been too into the entertainment, then my personal life start getting weary. Then I get too much into my personal life and my dance life start getting weary. Like, you feel me? So try to try to stay balanced. Like, you feel me? Not too high, not too low. Like, you feel me? Not too high, not too low. Word, word, indeed. That's what I've been on though lately, man. I, I'm vegan now too, you feel me? <laughs> like, yeah, you didn't <laughs> came over to the other side, huh? You didn't, you didn't let the pork chops alone, huh, nigga? <laughs> yeah, it's, yo. I left pork alone for like two years, but like completely eating like like animals, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't eat that. Like I've been I've been vegan completely for for like three, almost going on four months now. That's like, dope. Yeah. That's super dope. You don't be bloated up like that no more, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's for me too, like I don't I don't be getting bloated like that as much or. Or nothing, or nothing like too. That. Like you can feel it clouded. Like you feel me? Like like what the fuck wrong with me? And it's just literally what you're trying to consume should be like toxic to your body, and your body trying to fight the shit off. Trying to you fight that fight shit. You're acting like that. Nah, one hundred, nah, one hundred percent, brother. Um, how would you describe your style? Um, I'm gonna definitely say this first. I'm a flexor. You feel me? Now. Flexing is what helped me connect all the other styles and make it a melting pot of what I look like now. Like, you feel me? I started off with club. I learned a little crunk. You feel me? I learned a little locking. You feel me? But flexing completed the shit for me. It helped me tell more stories and build more shit. So eventually I started to cultivate into the flexing world. So ultimately I'm a flexor. Um, the style that I stand out with the most is... Um, Get low, because my balance is my power. Like, you feel me? Um, also, my animation, which is, they call it the wall of justice. Like, you feel me? Like, that's one of my signatures or whatever the case may be. So, yeah, it's, it's, you could definitely say I mastered get low, but I'm, I'm an all-around flexor. I know all the styles of flexor. Oh, yeah, get low, connecting, bone breaks, all of that. You know, you done seen. Right? Yeah, I did <laughs> yeah, everything. You slide on that floor and shit. <laughs> Well, well, look, I won't put this out there, nigga. My last battle, nigga, I was slippery to the motherfucker. I tell you that much. <laughs> For real, nigga. I, ba I battled killer, nigga, and the floor was wet, I promise you. like. Oh, oh, the floor was hella wet? So, look, it was like this. My first round or whatever, I feel myself sliding, but nobody else sees the shit. So, I gave myself a count of one, two, Three, okay, I'm done. Like, you feel me? I, I kind of stopped in the middle of my round. They're like, whoa, Steph, what the fuck? I know. I never stop in the middle of my round. So that shit's weird. So I stopped in the middle of the round like it's slippery, bro. They're like, come on, man, Steph. All right, boom. They let me get another round in the first round. Your boy super slides for real this time. I try to hit a spin. I said, oh, hell no, this shit is over. <laughs> That's crazy. Word, your boy was sick, bro. If you would have seen the way I walked away after the slip, nigga, I looked like my grandmama gave me that chain. You remember that shit? That like that. <laughs> That's how pissed off I was, yo. That's how pissed off I was. No cat, yo. Shit. Word, indeed, yo. But yeah, man, I, I'm still enjoying myself, man. I'm still loving this. I'm loving that battle dancing is starting to climb up slowly and surely. Yeah. I see it climbing. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We got mad talent now. Now you feel me? Some old, some new. It's, it's like it's starting to become a civil war soon. It's looking like it's looking like they're gonna eventually have one of them car cars. You feel me? That's gonna be crazy. So. I'm nah, 100, like 100 percent, brother. Um, I wanted to say, what would you, what would you tell a youngin coming up that wanted to be an artist or an entrepreneur? What, what would you tell them coming up? What was some advice you would give them? Um, it's never too late to learn. First of all, mm. and consistency and originality is what's going to take you anywhere you need to go. Period. Consistency and originality is going to take you anywhere you need to go. As long as you be your motherfucking self, you can market yourself. If you're trying to look like the next person or somebody you saw, that's exactly what you're going to look like, and they only going to look for that person that you saw. You feel me? So, yeah, just be your motherfucking self. I don't care how niggas take it or whatever the case may be. Somebody like it. Somebody out there like it. Originality. Word. Be yourself. Yeah. Be yourself, huh? That's real. That's real, right. brother. Um, where can people uh, where can people support you at? Where can they go about the church or or support this? Where where can people support you at? So everybody, you guys could um definitely hit me up on IG as y'all can see. Just follow me if y'all haven't already. Um, official steps. Hit me up in the DM, whatever. I I normally tell people just cash at me the money, whatever, and tell me your name and address, and I just get straight to it. You feel me? But OAO Comics on IG as well. That's strictly like about my comic book. So you can see like different like previews of how my comic book characters look, how the pages look. I have four books out right now. Welcome to Brick Falls. You can go on um, Google. Just put in Welcome to Brick Falls. It'll be Lulu Print by Tyrese Green, which is my actual name. Like you feel me? The author. And I have four books out. So the first people that buy the first three books, I give them the fourth one for free. That's how I do. It's digital. You feel me? So, can't do that. Y'all can't beat that, man. Go copy at all. And get blessed with one. You hear me? Can't beat that. Exactly. I appreciate y'all, but look, I know it's getting down to that time. I gotta start. I start rolling for the um practice and shit like that. But I just want to say thank you so much, Thorpe. Yo, if y'all don't know me and him, go back to Memphis. Like you feel me? Like, like, bro, we was out here torching in that tournament. Niggas was scared as hell. Like you feel me? I went out there recently too, but it wasn't the same type of situation though. It wasn't. <laughs> it was it wasn't, bro. It wasn't. Why? It felt like they was holding me back the whole time. Like, oh hell no, steps ain't about to nope. like they was like nah. Not this one either. Nope, not this <laughs> one either. I'm man, like, bro, I just wanna say, man, I appreciate you, man. I want to give you your roses and just say, yo, bro, I, I didn't I didn't see you work very hard, bro. Um, very hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everything you done, like I personally see some of that shit. Like everything you do, bro, I do nothing but salute that, bro. I salute that shit, bro. You keep doing what you doing. You a great in this shit. You know what I'm saying? You dance royalty. You know what I'm saying? So I up here and kind of hear your story and hear your background and Jersey and, and, and what y'all represent. You know, I always got love for Jersey. You hear me? You know indeed, indeed. indeed. Nigga, I always got love for Cali, nigga. I feel like I should have been born over there. No cap, nigga. <laughs> Yo, niggas be fucked up. Like, when I start chilling in that, niggas don't even know what's happening. Like, you know, I'll just be myself, though. Like, like, what the fuck? Like, where are you from, nigga? Like, <laughs> Jersey, bro. <laughs> Word, I can blend in any crowd, yo. That was one thing about traveling around. I was like, 1920 was I got to meet different cultures. Like, you feel me? Like, Different shit that I really familiarize with, and it's like, nigga, that's me. Like, I see myself in a lot of different shit, so I be wanting to go out there and experience it to see. Cali feel like home, no cap. When I'm in the middle of Brooklyn, that shit be feeling like I'm, I'm literally in my backyard. Like, yeah. Certain places be just be different. When I'm in Memphis, it give me that down south feel where it's like, yeah, I love Memphis. From the south. My yeah. cousins is all from the south, so I just be at home everywhere I'm at, type shit. Like, you feel me? Yeah. So that's cool. But yeah, let me get off this shit, bro. I gotta get going. My son already strapped in. You feel me? Ready to do his hey, thing out here? It's off. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh, love, love you, love you, brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you for coming on the show, man. Oh, yeah. You already know. Shout out to Cali. Shout out to the whole dance community. You feel me? We still rolling. We still rocking. We doing what we gotta do, man. You already know. Well, All right, my guys. Bow. All right. Have a blessed one, brother. 100%, man. Dope. 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 Dope.
That's the wrap up for the show, man. Shout out to my boy Steph. Shout out to my boy Cito. You know what I'm saying? Every Tuesday, y'all know Dancing Canoe at 1 p.m. Every Friday, Boss Talk at 1 p.m. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody that's been coming in, supporting the show every week. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all the donations people have been sending. Thank y'all. And I'll see y'all next week. Man, y'all have a blessed day. Flip the bitch, turned around and made a change. Change, change. Now we ten diamond. Diamond, 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 diamond. Yeah, yeah, we shining, shining. Just like ten diamond, diamond, diamond. Yeah, we shining, shining. Just like ten diamond, diamond. Yeah, we shining, Just like ten diamond, diamond. Feel my soul when I'm rhyming. Went through pressure, now we made diamonds. Went through pressure, now we some of the flyers. Everything is elevating and inclining. Everything came around and took the time. My boy Steps. Jersey in the motherfucking building. I just sent you a request, brother. Growing up without having shit, create tyrants. Fuck all that shit. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, my God. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? I ain't seen my What's up, brother? Minute, How you been, loved one? How you been, man? Great, man, great. Staying busy. Um, my son got actually got football practice in like an hour, you feel me? So I'm going to be out here a little bit short. But um, oh, you good. Yeah, yeah. I just want to tell people, you know what I'm saying? I want to give people a quick little background about us, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, sir. This 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 bro right here, and I, I say that I've been knowing Stess for over a decade, you hear me? Um, me and Stess met in a whole different state, my nigga. We was in Memphis. <laughs> and nigga actually beat me in the battle, you know what I'm saying?